So the integral is sine square x and in the denominator we have 1 plus cos x whole square dx. We can write this integral as sine x divided by 1 plus cos x whole square dx. Now let us solve this integral using half angle formulas. Now formula for trigonometric identity for sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. So when we take half angle formula it becomes sine x is equal to 2 sine x by 2 cos x by 2 and in the case of denominator we have cos 2x is equal to 2 cos square x minus 1 and when we take 1 to other side it becomes 1 plus cos 2x is equal to 2 cos square x and when we apply half angle formula that means we will make each angle it equal to its half so 1 plus cos x becomes 2 cos square x by 2 now we will use these identities in the given integral so sin x becomes 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 and in the denominator 1 plus cos x becomes 2 cos square x by 2 2 gets cancelled out and 1 cos x by 2 term also gets cancelled out we are left with sin x upon cos x sin x by 2 upon cos x by 2 and whole square sin upon cos is tan so this becomes tan square x by 2 dx now we cannot take direct integral of tan square x it has to be converted to secant square x secant square x minus tan square x is 1 so secant square x minus 1 is tan square x since we have tan square x by 2 so it becomes secant square x by 2 minus 1 dx now integral of secant square is tan x only but since we have x by 2 instead of x so its integral will be tan x by 2 plus co plus coefficient of x which is 1 by 2 that will come in the denominator whenever we take derivative so according to chain rule coefficient of x by 2 half that comes alongside the function but in case of integration if there is any coefficient of x instead of x we have x by 2 then 1 by 2 is coefficient of x so 1 by 2 will come in the denominator and integral of 1 is x plus c so this becomes 2 tan x by 2 minus x plus c which is